What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Dev, and today, guys, today, 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 my baby and me, we about to ride up to bike night, guys. Now, it is Wednesday, and it is a tradition that we go to bike night almost every Wednesday, and this is a pretty cool time, guys, because this is Dominica's first time going to bike night riding her own bike. So, anything you got to say, boo? No. You excited? <laughs> I'm excited. You nervous? All right, y'all, I have not been keeping you on the loop with Dominica, but Dominica has been riding this bike all the time. We have been out all the time, guys. She has probably put about 500 miles on the 250 over the past month. So um, she is more than ready, guys. We've been riding all the time, like I said, so this is nothing new, but this is her very first time going to bike night. So I'm so excited, and we're about to take you guys with us. What you just said? We got my own gas. She got her own gas, y'all. She just filled up the tank by herself. We almost ran out of gas, so we had to stop here at the gas station. So I don't know if you know, but we were taking the back way out there and guys, the road that we were supposed to take was closed. So literally I got lost and I was about to pull over and bring out my GPS, but I was like, no, nah, we'll just figure it out. And luckily we ended up right here because I know where we're at. So we're just about to hop on the highway and, uh, and we should be there in like 15 minutes. Fun fact, I guess while we're here and I just filled up the street glide, it was dang near on empty. Like I said, my light was on. The street glide just filled up for, I believe it was 14.05. So that's how much it costs to fill up a 2016 street glide special with premium fuel. $14.05, which is not bad at all. All right, y'all, we almost here. Anything you got to say, baby? We about to pull up. All right, guys, we just pulled up at Quaker Steak and Lube here in Valley View, Ohio. It is Wednesday night, guys, and COVID-19 sucks. That is all I have to say. Um, we are like the only motorcycles in the parking lot. So how was your first bike night experience being here as the only motorcycles? Um, really interesting. Very but interesting. The guys. food is still here. So. Exactly. And the food is still here, guys. And ultimately, we didn't know if there were going to be a bike night or not. Clearly, there is not. But... Um, we are about to go in here and eat, and then uh, we are going to get ice cream up here anyways because I have been craving, craving, craving some Mitchells, and it is in downtown Cleveland, which is about 10 minutes away from here. So um, we are going to make the most of it, and, uh, and yeah. Guys, I almost forgot to show you, but let me show you before it's finished. If you have never had a salad at Quaker Steak and Lou, you are truly missing out looking like she ain't do nothing y'all she just ate half my salad so uh <laughs> i'm about to finish this yeah. all right guys food just came out ribeye for your boy i'm a steak lover what you get baby yeah. got me a nice juicy bacon burger right here juicy and bacon burger hey on my baby's first bike night on the bike in an empty parking lot let's go <laughs> all right guys dominica was just asking me very quick questions what did you just ask me do i prefer to use the urinal or the toilet guys i'm a I urinal curious, type of guy he be coming out so fast. i'm I quick just, guys i go to the restroom quick if you're a guy you can probably relate but anyways guys all right we're about to leave this dead bike night our server told us that bike night is right now canceled all summer hopefully that changes but that is the update right now which is pretty sad but we are going to get mitchell's ice cream oh i've been craving it all week well guys i am uh being pulled over with mama right there i don't know what we did but i'm sure we're about to find out how you doing well, i'm sorry you just gonna wait around for her uh yeah i'm oh, a i'm with that's actually my bike oh that's your bike yes sir okay. yep Last year? Yeah, we so riding season doesn't start till May. That bike didn't get rolled at all last year. Okay. If you see this one is current. Yeah, that one that one's current. Yeah, well I mean as current as we can get. Yeah. So we like we've been trying to get to the B and B. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I'll probably we do have a valid driver's license okay. for both and we're fully insured if we have the insurance right on, my, on my phone. On, there or? Oh, on on both. But on, on yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll have it right here. Right. Yep, give me one second. Burr. Alright guys, so basically the tags on the 250 are from 2019, I believe, and uh, or they're from 2018. I don't even know. I don't even remember the last time I've gotten tags for that motorcycle because, like I said, up until this summer, I haven't rode it. Of course, with COVID going on, I have not been able to get tags for it yet. We've been trying to get into the BMV, but, um, you know, the BMVs are encouraging people not to go in right now. So, um, 
you know, hey, nothing we can do. But he was a cool cop. You know, we were chopping it up. You know, that's ultimately gay eyes. I mean, nobody likes being pulled over. Um, but you just got to be cool. All right, guys, we free. We free, we free. As you can see, we ended up coming to Handles. Long story short, guys, when we got to downtown Cleveland, there were police everywhere. Like, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And uh, I was wondering what was going on because I'm like, dang, I never see this many cops downtown Cleveland. And long story short, um, because of the rioting and everything that was going on, I guess downtown Cleveland has a curfew yeah. where everybody has to be in at like 8 o'clock. And uh, we didn't know that. We was just trying to go get some Mitchells and mm -hmm. grub. But that was not going down. The officer was like, no, nah, I hit 77 South. Head back to Akron, boy. <laughs> I said, yes, sir. But <laughs> anyways, as you guys just saw a minute ago, guys, we were cruising here um, to Handles here in Cuyahoga Falls. Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga. But anyways, um, we were cruising. And long story short, I saw the cop when, uh, when we passed him. And we were doing like 20, 25 miles per hour. So it wasn't anything crazy. We was just cruising. You know, I wasn't worried about nothing out here in these streets for real. But anyways, he cruised with us for a while. And he wasn't even behind us. So I'm like, man, look at this. I ain't getting harassed by the police today. Like, this is this is a good day. And then, you know, right before we got to Handles, he hopped behind us, turned on his lights. And um, the first thing I thought, guys, because police officers right now are not supposed to be pulling people over for expired tags. So the first thing I thought was, man, I'm driving while black, literally. And this has happened to me before in Fairline, Ohio. So it wasn't anything new, but it was just like, come on, man. Like, really? Like, what are we doing? But he actually had a legitimate excuse as to why he pulled us over, um, kind of. The tax, it was it was an excuse, really. It was any excuse to pull us over. But um, the tags on the 250 were over a year expired. Since last year, that bike didn't get rolled at all, other than when Dominique was riding it in the parking lot. Mustang sound good. Um, since that bike didn't get rolled, the tags hadn't been updated up until like 2018. Um, so they were like past expired. So that's what he used as the excuse to pull us over. But... I mean, hey, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But ultimately, he was a cool guy. Thank God for that because, he, you know, he could have been extra, but he wasn't. He was cool. So respect to him. Um, and like I was saying when I was, you know, had my camera out when I was on the bike, guys, if you're cool, they'll be cool. Now, there are situations which we all saw last week, sadly, and that we see all the time far too often. But um, just be cool, guys. And most of the time, they're going to be cool. They just out here trying to do their job. And, uh, you know, it's something we got to live with for now. So, um, y'all, we're going to cut it here. We slamming on this handles, and I'm ready to eat. And I can't eat and record at the same time. So, I want to thank y'all for coming to bike night with us. It was dead, but um, it was still fun because me and my baby was kicking it. You got any parting words, girl? How's your first bike night experience? Baby, you don't even want the camera angle right. Like, do me right, please. Bruh. No, what? <laughs> Anyways, she don't have nothing to say, y'all. So, I'm going uh, to catch up with y'all next video. Peace.